How are we people? It's been a while. Gonna go out for a dive and uh, I'll jump out the car now just to let you feel the effects of the Wellington wind. It's blown its tits off, it's a southerly, which makes it calm on the, the west coast. So I'm gonna go down the Makara, Makara and uh, catch a feed. Hopefully get some butterfish and maybe the odd blue mokey stock up as it's uh, the weather is turning a bit shit. Check this out. Beautiful Wellington conditions. What the ass? <laughs> Don't know if you can hear me, but yeah, that's Markara down there. We're gonna go right round. We were there. Thanks to Pete, we've got the special key to get down to Oak Bay. So get in there and see what we can catch. I'll wake you up in the morning, boy. <laughs> Absolutely freezing putting that wetsuit on. I feel a bit warmer now that the suit's on. Looks like there's a strong current, so hopefully there'll be plenty of fish around. And hopefully it'll be warmer in the water also. Get it. So it's the next again day, I'm just back from work um, It was quite a no bad dive yesterday, it was a bit windy and cold But I managed to, to get a couple of fish anyway um, Big butterfish and a small cahalai pretty, pretty big fat butterfish that is That'll feed us tonight anyway So get them filleted up and get one for the dinner I also got a couple of power and I'll uh, show you how to shuck the power and prepare them and you can uh, I'll, I'll do a wee cook up with them later on as well so that's the first batch of fish in quite a lot of fish that came from the, that butterfish we've got the two cahalai fillets here as well just bringing some water to the boil and then in the fridge we've got the power so we put the power in the fridge overnight and what happens is it falls, falls asleep essentially and it relaxes the, the shellfish absolutely crazy looking creatures we've got some holes in the top where the, the filter feed and yeah crazy looking crazy looking things up so when the water comes to the boil chuck them in the, the boiling water for a minute and then I'll show you what to do after that ok so the power has been in for a minute now it's just a blanchet really and then what you do is where the, the holes are you get your thumb under and just stick it right under like that And then you're left with the, the meat. And then this is the sack where it feeds off of. 
So you need to cut all that out, so it, like virtually the stomach. And then it's got a beak in here. You need to cut that beak out as well, and then you're left with the, the black section. Okay, for the cook up of the pala, I've just chopped up some fresh chilli, fresh ginger. You chop up there a couple of shallots, or one shallot, two halves. And fresh basil, pepper, fish sauce, coconut milk, olive oil, some mushrooms, spinach, and obviously the pala. I'm going to cut the pala up really thinly. And I'm going to do this using this special knife <coughs> that my Japanese friend gifted me. So thank you very much, Yamaguchi Kohei, for the amazing present. Much appreciato. Thank you. almost forgot the most important um, ingredient garlic, so I've just got to use the, the powder stuff and batter it in quite a good bit of it There you have it people, some power with a wee Asian twist, Craigie boy style, you squeeze your lemon on there as well, beautiful.